Hi, George here. And today let's talk about using AI to upscale an image inside of Photoshop Elements. And I've recently been getting a lot of questions about what AI is in Photoshop Elements, and basically there's not a whole lot. When we're thinking about AI, we want to think about things where there's actually some image adjustment to it. You can increase the size of an image, you know, upscale without any loss of detail. You can remove the background without any loss of edge detail, things like that that AI is very good at but none of that is actually included in Photoshop Elements. But you can use free online tools to do that. Let's first start off with an example here. I'm just going to upscale this inside of Photoshop Elements. Go up here to Image, come down to Resize and Image Size. And we'll do this four times larger, which is 2560. And there we go. And again, I'll do Control Z to fit screen. And that's not bad. It has made it larger. It's now four times larger than it was. But if we zoom in, See, it's pretty soft in here. We've lost some detail on this. It's going a bit on the soft side. And that's what happens when you increase sizes here inside of Photoshop Elements. You're going to be losing some of that detail. Now compare this to what I got when I used a free AI upscaler. And it's right here. This is the same size. Let's just do Control-0 to fit in screen. Same size image. And notice how much sharper this is than the image over here. So we didn't lose any detail. We actually gained some detail in here by using an AI upscaler. And as you can see, we can open this up here inside of Photoshop Elements. So this will work with Photoshop Elements without any issues at all. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll download this picture so you can see what I've worked with. I got this over on pixabay.com. Let me bring that up. And it's right here. And I just downloaded this at the lowest size, the 640 by 457. So you want to try this yourself, go ahead and use that one. Just download to a location on your hard drive where you can easily open that up again. Okay, now the program that I use is over here and it's called Upscale. Now, I couldn't find anything that, that was this fuzzy, this low resolution to do this test here, but we did do it with that image. So let's see how that worked out. I'll bring it up right here. So here's the original, and I uploaded it here, and I did their upscaling, and it does that. So amazing job of upscaling. We don't lose anything. We actually gain quite a bit in here with the standard upscale. Now, this program is free, and interestingly enough, this actually is a downloaded program. You run this on your computer. So the better computer you have, the faster this will run. I have kind of an average computer that I do these things on for YouTube, and it took about a minute for it to do the upscale. It's not a big deal. Let me show you where you can download this, and then we'll talk about how this works. So the download is right here, upscale.org. I'll put that link in the description so you can click right here. You do have a new cloud version coming out soon, so you can actually do it online instead of downloading it. Right now, it's just a waiting list that's in beta. It's just a waiting list. I've already signed up for the beta, but I haven't received an invitation yet, so... Click on this, enter your name and email address to sign up to get the beta when it's released. Again, that's online. But to download the desktop version, we'll click over here. Here's the desktop version. Once this is downloaded, it runs on your computer. So you don't have to have the internet open to do this or anything like that. It's all on your computer and it is free. It's a free open source program. Simply choose download. Choose your version over here. Of course, mine is on Windows. Works with Windows 10 and above. Go ahead and install that. And it will put a button on your desktop for you. You can then launch it from that button. Okay, easy to do. And again, it's free. Now we're back here again, you can run this full size. I'll just go ahead. We'll do that right there. There's a full size image. Now left side, we have two options up here, upscale and settings. On upscale, you can do a batch upscale. You can up res several images at the same time. Basic steps, choose your image. There's the one that I used. This will just open up a drive window to find your image. Choose a model. There are several in here. The one that I used was the top one, just, just their basic image right here. Some of these may actually work better, but I used the very basic one right there. It worked out just fine, as you can see. Now, double upscale takes this up to 16 times larger instead of four times larger. Now, you can come down here and choose different scaling amounts, but notice the exclamation point here. Anything above this could cause performance problems, and more importantly than that, only the 4X or the double upscale right here, only these two use AI to improve the image. So we don't care about anything else. Just stick with the 4X, that's all you need. Down here, you can choose a different output folder if you want to. By default, it's gonna be putting this back into the same folder as the original, just giving it a little different name. It simply comes over here and adds this part onto the end of the name. And then click on Upscale. You see right now the 4X here is taking up that 640 up to 2560, which is what we did on the example there in Elements, in that we got kind of a fuzzy image out of that. Click on Upscale. And then it's going to go and take however long it takes, depending upon how fast your computer is, to do that upscale. Again, on my computer, average business computer, nothing special about it. It only took about one minute. You get that, you actually see what it is. Now, it downloads it into that folder as soon as it's finished. So you don't have to do any save or anything like that. It does that as part of the process. 
up here on settings, they have a help section. You can donate if you like this. They have logs in there. Now down here, it says upscale theme. This is simply the look of the interface. You can change it if you want to. For instance, here is a light look. Here's a dark look. Lots of different options. Here's Halloween, kind of orange and black on there. Here's a garden look. So if you want to play around with that, that's fine. I'll just leave mine at the default upscale. You can choose the image format right here. I had mine as a PNG file, which is probably the best option. Again, leave this alone, you'll be fine. And there we go, it's actually, as you can see, very easy to use. All you really have to do is come in here, choose your image, choose your format, and leave these alone, and then just hit upscale. Now this works best on actual low-res images like this. If your image is already pretty good, pretty sharp, you won't see that much of a difference. You won't see a huge improvement like that. It's not really a sharpening tool, although it does sharpening in the upscale process. It's really a tool to make your image larger without losing any detail, and hopefully you'll gain a little bit of detail from the AI. And we saved it as a PNG, and you can then open this up in Photoshop Elements and do anything else you want to at that point. You have that nice larger image to work with. So great tool, works perfectly with Photoshop Elements, and it does give you access to the upscale part of AI. I'll be doing a series of these videos looking for other free options where you can do more AI that can be used with Photoshop Elements over the next several weeks. If you want to learn more about how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. If you want to have a tool that guides you through and helps you along when you're working with video training and answers those questions that aren't answered in the video training, take a look at my HDG Photo Coach for Photoshop Elements. I'll put a link for that in the description. It's a great tool. Don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you click on subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that notification icon so you're notified every single time I put up a new video. And I'll see you next time.